Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. All right, everybody, here we are, Friday Night Flies at Bass Pro in Tawas. A little noisy, we are open. We got this guy, we got Ethan in the house. Um, he came down from Hemby, staying in North Bend. He's yeah. got family there or something, so right on. So he's checking out the story. His jaw hit the floor as soon as he walked in here. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, so pretty cool to have him here. Let's shut that radio off. Someone will come yelling at me at some point, but <laughs> whatever. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to get Ethan tying in the house. I'm going to go up first. I've got another little pink fly for you. Um, simple, easy hair wing streamer using crafter. Uh, again, pinks, you don't want to go too crazy with materials because they're just going to destroy the flies. Um, so the cheaper, the better. Um, so, yeah, what do you think? It's pretty sure. cool fly, right? I, I, I'm going to tie some of those up. I know um, Ethan's got a pretty cool still water pattern as well. Yeah. A little dry fly action, a little damsel fly, sure. damsel fly, I should say. Yeah. Um, it's a pretty sweet little fly. So uh, let's head on down and get going on this one, and then we'll get the kit set up and get him going. All right, guys, so there it is, my uh, my pink hair wing streamer using craft fur. This one's got eyes. I've done a couple of variations of it. So that one's got eyes, and that's a hot pink. And I've got another one here. This is kind of the one I'm going to be doing today. This is the salmon pink version without eyes. So I think it's a pretty snazzy little fly. It goes together pretty quick. This will work great for uh, the beginning of the run when there's not as many fish. You want to use a bigger hook. Um, and bigger fly with a little more profile as the runs start getting thicker and more insane, that's when we downsize the hook so we're not snagging as much. So let's get going on this one. Um, this one I've actually, we've got for sale in the store right now. I've got a limited run that we're doing. So I'm there on a size six Tiemco U503. I'll show you the package here in a second. That's it there. You can go up to a size four or even a two on this, this hook. It's pretty tiny, so. Get that seated in the mongoose. There we go. So for thread, it's the only red thread I had in the house. Some 6.0 Superfly Super Thread. It's a flat thread. We're gonna go. Actually, before we do that, I've decided to put a little twist on this pattern already. I've got some Super Glitter Thread in red, and I'm just gonna add a little tag on the back of this stuff. This is some pretty cool thread. Great for accents and stuff like this. There we go. Now I'll just start my red thread right at the eye. So this is a return bend, so you want to start up top here and work your way back just to close up that gap. I'm going to wrap that down, cut away the tag. You notice I left that super glitter on there, just so that I don't have to create any more bulk Kind of cross over it like so trim away the rest there so now we got a nice little super glitter tag right on now for the body of this fly i'm using some superfly poly flash in pearl um, i've got one that i've had for a while i actually put it on a spool had one kicking around, so why not? Let's just cut off a little bit of a length there. I'm gonna tie this in so that the end starts at the end of the uh, the butt end there. So that I'm just gonna lock in place. And we're just gonna it can be a little unruly. Those ends go a little crazy. Doesn't need to be pretty because we're just gonna wrap over that. So this fly goes together super quick, which is nice. If you're not prepared yet, you should tie up a bunch of these because they are coming. I got a wedding next week. I'm going to poke my head around the Squamish River and hopefully we find some. So I'm just going to tie it there. We'll leave about an, maybe two eye lengths back for our wing. Just trim that away. As you can see, we've got a little bit of room there. And so for the wing, we got to have a collar, it's a little hackle. You can use whatever. I've just got some premium neck hackle. This is the salmon pink from Superfly as well. So I'm just going to find a feather that I like. It goes bigger, as tiny as you want. And I'm just going to pinch the tip, pull down all the fibers. 
going to tie it in by the tip. Trim away the excess here. I'm just going to stroke those fibers back just to kind of help them face backwards. We want something for this wing to sit on, so we're going to give it a few good wraps here. Four or five. And I'm just going to trim that guy away. We're going to stroke all those back and we're going to back wrap on it. Kind of tidy up that area. There you go. Now you can see all those fibers are going back. You can leave that up there if you want. Do you have any of these? Maybe. Maybe. When you're done. We are collecting, um, right now in store with all the wildfires going on, we're rounding up all the purchases and we're donating that to the Red Cross, which is kind of cool. Um, so if you come on in, help donate to a good cause, just round your purchase up to the next dollar. So we're just getting some signs set up for that. So I've just got some white craft fur here. Like I said, pink flies, you don't need to go crazy with materials. Anything cheap. So I'm just going to cut a good chunk off. This is going to be the underwing. And they, you get a lot of this fake under fur, so you're just going to pull that out, really thin that up. And then what I like to do is get a lot of these extra long ones, just kind of find a point where I like it, I'm going to pull them all out. So there we go. So I'm going to have this, it's going maybe, maybe a hook shank back. And just a little bit of white, we don't need much. Just a pinch wrap right on top like so. Cut away the excess. We're going to cut it back just before that eye starts and we're just going to wrap over it just to start building our head. So we don't have to go too crazy. And we're going to want a little bit of flash in this wing. So if I can get it out of the package. We got some super fly, super flash here. This stuff's pretty cool. Very similar to Flashaboo. I find it's a little bit stiffer. It's not as wispy, so it's gonna be a little more durable, which is kind of nice. I'm just gonna take, I don't know, however many I can separate here. Five or six should do the trick. We are gonna double this over so it does get quite thick. So. I'm going to measure this so it's a little bit past that white. Again, just another pinching wrap. A couple turns, then we're going to fold it over. I'm going to wrap that back. I'm going to cut the excess so it's a little bit longer than that first section. It's very similar to how Jordan does his uh, saltwater flies, if you've seen those videos. There we go. And now for the final part, some salmon pink craft fur. Um, like I said, this one here was done in hot pink. Good to do a variety of these. Do them in the chartreuses as well. Sometimes that works when they're not biting pink. This one, I'm going to take a little bit more than I did of the white. I want the pink to be a little more pronounced. As the old saying goes, think pink for pinks. Again, we're just going to tidy out that under fur. Don't need any of that. And I like to leave the long wispy fibers. So this I'm going to tie so that those long ones are going a little further back than that uh, super flash that we just put on. Again, we're going to tie that right on top. A couple wraps, leave a bit of space, trim off the front, and we're just going to tidy that up. This is where we build up that head. Like you saw in that one, you could put eyes on here if you want. This one I'm not going to. There we go. So that hackle's really helping to prop that wing up. This is going to flow really nicely in the water. You can do this with bucktail as well. Like I said, you don't want to go too expensive with the materials. It is a pink fly. And to finish it off, I got some solar res, super thin here. I love using this stuff instead of head cement. 
that brush applicator makes it nice and easy to go on. I'm just going to go all the way around. It has a nice shiny head too. Could use the super glitter thread as well. And we're just going to cure that up. There you go, a nice UV tinge to that, uh, that salmon pink. And there we go. There's the, the Craft Fur Hair Wing Pink Salmon Fly. Let's uh, head on up and sign out. Alright guys, so there you have it, little hair wing streamer. Nice and easy. Again, using Craft Fur, it's cheap, you get a ton of it for next to nothing. Um, you pick it up craft stores, you pick it up here. I think, does Brad have any up in Spud? Yeah, yeah. Have some. Brad's got it up in Spud, used on a Craft Fur Addiction for a little while there. Um, super simple fly, like I said. You can do it up in the greens as well, it'll probably work for the coho. I'm going to do some up in tan and olives as well for the uh, Again, for coho as well as the bull trout. Um, this would make a great flesh pattern as well later in the season. Um, the bullies and uh, coho would be loving that stuff, even probably the rainbows. So, yeah, easy sure. fly, right? Yeah. Right on. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, get cleaned up here. We'll get Ethan going on his little fly, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in a little bit.